Andrew Berry was asked where the franchise is now as opposed to uh, where it was when he was here before. Took the opportunity to kind of reflect back and take a look at where it's been. So number one, um, you know, just mentioning the, I guess really eight years ago when I had my first stint in Cleveland. Um, and I know this isn't a question, but I'm just going to talk about this anyway, Daryl. It, it, everything that we went through the, during that time, whether it was like the lack of success on the field, um, you know, the internal turmoil, just everything that went with it, it really does make you appreciate, you know, the, certainly last year, but the past couple of years uh, a lot more. Um, and like, that's actually a cool part of the journey. Like I wouldn't trade that for anything. Um, because you grow and you learn, and it, 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 and it, it, it makes you not take um, the good days for, you know, for, for granted. So I, I want to start off by saying, um, you know, by saying that. And Casey, when, when you've been to the playoffs and you're, then you're 8 and 9, and then you've been, you tend to forget what 1 and 15 and 0 oh and 16 and 1 and 31 was. So, Look at where that was. Look at where it is now, and it's night and day. Now, the challenge before Kevin Stefanski and Andrew Barry is consistency, consistent playoff games, and go win the damn division, please. Yeah, yeah. props to Andrew Barry for answering that because they're in the middle of the storm, and sometimes it's hard to see everything unless you take a step back. But for him to give an earnest answer and kind of let you in, there was an, an internal you know, turmoil inside the regime and the losing seasons, all the weight that that puts on you, and that allows him to to, to appreciate what the, the what they've cultivated here. But to your point, that's what it's about. If you're they've they've stacked and they they've they've grown as a franchise, and and that's evident in players like you trade for Zadarius Smith, but then he chose to stay. He he had no say when he got traded for, but he he definitely chose the Browns over other locations and and did it early because this is where he wanted to be. To me, that speaks volumes. But now it's about you got to continue that growth. That growth doesn't just stop, you know. And to do that, what you got to do, you got to turn back to back winning seasons in double digit winning seasons, making the playoffs. And to your point, the most important thing is now it is time to win the AFC North. That is the definitive next stop in this team's growth. Yeah. And, and you know, a lot of people would make the point, and, and I agree, the key to, to a deep playoff run, especially here, Go win the division so teams have to come. You, you, Kevin Svansky in, in that era has now made this a home field advantage. Teams don't want to come in here. They usually don't win when they come in here. Mm -hmm. So make a play, have a playoff game here. You want to see crazy? Playoff game in Cleveland's crazy. I've been to them. Not many people can and that say that might be the biggest reflection of where they've come from because it wasn't a home field advantage, you know, yeah. and they cultivated that and it clearly is now. And if, if you win the division, then you get a playoff game at home and that's the, the clearest avenue to making a deep playoff run. So I'm 100% with you, Dave. That's that's where it starts for me, man. You got to earn a home playoff game this year. I'm old enough to have been to home playoff games in Cleveland. They're a lot of fun for the home team and the home fans. You don't want any part of this if you are a visitor. So it, it's, time to, it's time to have one of those so a, uh, a new generation can know what they're like. Yeah, and I think that, uh, that primetime game you get against the Dolphins on a Sunday night kind of be a, a pretty good indicator of, of what it's going to be like if you get to have teams come in here for the playoffs. 